Caballeros K Fuman. All right, we are smoking the Rocky Patel DBS. Mm -hmm. DBS, as you know, is a Aston Martin. Oh. But that's not what he's referring to here. It right. is the DBS as in double broadleaf selection. Ah. So yeah, this this I thought Rocky had started a television station or something like that. Some, some news network. Yeah, DBS. not CBS, but DBS. Okay. Uh so so no. So uh so anyway, DBS double broadleaf selection. So this cigar, although it is wrapped with a Mexican San, San Andres wrapper. The binder has a double binder. So it has a Pennsylvania broadleaf binder and a Nicaraguan grown broadleaf binder. Hmm. And so that combination of double broadleaf gives it its name, right? And that's not that common. You don't get a lot of cigars with a double binder, much less a double broadleaf binder. So typically you wouldn't do that unless you really have, uh, you have your broadleaf game like down because... Broadleaf doesn't burn it. Like normally you want your binder. Typically you want your binder to help the wrapper burn if you have a slow burning wrapper. Mm -hmm. And by a slower burning wrapper, right? These thick, these thick leaves, they burn slower, right? I don't know if you can see those there. But yeah, these these thick wrapper leaves that are like uh, Mexican San Andres or Broadleaf, or they burn slower. So you typically want your binder to help it burn along, uh, as well as adding flavor, obviously, and aroma. But in this case, they're using double broadleaf. So you really have to have some very high-end broadleaf, high quality, that burns very well for it to work. Otherwise, the cigar just goes to hell. So uh, so that, that, was a, that was an ambitious blend here that they did. So anyway, uh, Mexican wrapper, Nicaraguan and Pennsylvania broadleaf binders, and Honduras and Nicaraguan fillers. The cigar is is a pricey one. MSRP. Mm. We're smoking the Robusto, and it's MSRP of twenty bucks. So that's pricey. Uh, but again, it's due to the cost of all that material, right? That tobacco is not cheap, and so that's what drives up the price. Uh, these are available in three sizes: Robusto, Toro, and sixty. Uh, DBS, as I said, double broadleaf uh, selection. That's what it's. That's what it's uh, called. And it's made at Rocky's Tavicusa factory, which is their smaller factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. So what do you guys think of the cigar? I'll tell you what. It is amazing. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, worth Good, every Good. penny. I mean, you know, I'll be honest with you. If if you look at it. You have slobbered the bejesus out I of know, I, I, My I, goodness. I, I, tend, I tend to slobber. You can tell <laughs> when he enjoys a cigar when it's full of saliva. <laughs> I know. I know. Where, where did you? You have that like tickling <laughs> a tonsil back there? <laughs> Jesus, Jim. <laughs> I know. I, I tend to listen. Listen. I, he's like scratching I, his tonsils. Okay. Right there. I love this smoke. What can I tell you? I mean, I mean, it, it's 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 a it's like a it's like a porterhouse steak here. I mean, I would say this. I would say this is if is if you're a newbie, it it looks intimidating because of the size the, and, and that wrapper. You can tell it's like thick and right. So at first, I was like, oh boy. I mean, is this going to be? Am I going to need to to sit down after this? But I'll tell you, it is heavenly. It is it is not harsh. And I'm glad you're liking it. It is not harsh. It has started off amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's burning wonderfully, and and it, it is delicious. I mean, it's got you know, it's it's got a little bit of a no. You, it's got some power. You know, it's there. Oh, it, I, it's no. not mild by any means, but it's not overpowered. I, I, I would wrote, say that it's closer to you know medium to full. That's exactly what I wrote down here. Yeah. I wrote I wrote medium plus plus because it feels like it's getting to that full, but it's not quite there yet, which is great. I mean, if you're paying, you know, a good amount for a for a cigar, you don't want to get cheapened out of it. And this feels like it delivers. I mean, the complexities there there. You get the sweetness from the Mexican San Andres and the broad leaf. The sweetness so is definitely there. So it has a lot of stuff going on here. So it's 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 a very nice smoke. Yeah, the sweetness that it has, I think, is really well balanced with that Nicaraguan like pepper zinc, which is there. Like once you re have you retrohaled this, Jimmy? Yes, yes, because it's there. Amazing when it when you retrohale it, you get that that pepper, uh, that little bit of earthiness. But again, everything is really well done. Wood, uh, it's like very woody to me. Yeah, like uh, not not a, it's kind of like an oaky wood. Oaky to me. wood, correct? Yeah. It's not, you know, sometimes we say wood mm. and, and on certain cigars, wood can be kind of like a generic woody taste, right? 
and that's not that fun to me. Right. Right. I I, I like when when I've got like a well defined flavor, like uh, again, like an oak, or or you've got maybe some pininess, or you know, when when it's it's definable. And so in in this case, it it is a very oaky oaky wood. That I mean, I think the cigar is starting off really nice. Yeah. Is is that red pepper that I'm that I'm t- that I'm tasting there? I, I don't know because it's it's really a smooth pepper to me. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not sharp in any way. So yeah, you you could call it like a the sweetness of a red pepper. Yeah, you could say I that. I mean the the retrohale. You re, I mean it's that's the point of retrohaling to be able to really get those flavors and those notes. And it is just it is a it is like a like a a rose that has bloomed. You I mean you you get everything you know both on your tongue and then when you retrohale it, it is. I'll tell you, Rocky man, knocked it out of the ballpark. I, with I this. think it's gonna pair great with these bourbons. If- yeah, I, I think. Um, I mean, I've been I, smoking this thing for a minute, and it's and it's it's amazing. I can only imagine what it's gonna keep going. You know what it's gonna do when it turns on me. It here. needs a rain jacket after. Uh- yeah, for real. After Jimmy's <laughs> done with it, my Thuffer and thuckatash. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I think we left out maybe some notes. Like I just took another another puff, and and I do get, I do get some dark chocolate in there that I that I didn't mention earlier and the ash is perfect look at this excellent burn it's very even nice and gray compact yeah perfect it's it's really nice really nice start the only thing you know and and this is more of a pet peeve for me is is the the bands the labels a lot going on it's 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 double opulent it it, it, again it looks like a rick flair wcw championship belt yeah and there's two of them there's the there's the rocky logo uh, band. And underneath that is the DBS, um, orange and black and, and with gold foil. So it's very, it's typical Rocky, right? It's what you would expect from Rocky Patel. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of, uh, like it, you can, you can hang that label inside of Rocky Patel burn in Naples and it would fit right in. Right. <laughs> sure. It, it feels like it. I feel like he's wearing a jacket like that, that has been, that has these kinds of, uh, uh colors and, and, and assorted stuff on it. It's, it's All right. amazing. All right, so so off to we're off to a good start with yeah. the, with the Rocky DBS. So by the way, I'm I'm glad we we've liked it, yeah. Because I don't I don't believe we've rated this, and so I, I don't even know if I'd actually ever smoked it till today. Really? Yeah. So I, at the show, we just had uh, we just had the, the PCA trade show, and at the show, I smoked other things from Rocky. Uh, I even I even got to smoke. Uh, conviction an early blend of the of the conviction because mm-hmm. that's not out yet mm-hmm. and i thought that was outstanding that at the moment i told rocky if if the final one tastes like this then i think this is the best cigar that i've ever tasted from you wow. so i don't know if it'll be that way when it comes out but what i tasted from those unbanded early blends was outrageous outrageously right. good well I'll tell you what next time you know i i will be heading out to to the 702. I'll be heading out to Sin City. So I'll be definitely be looking at my favorite retailers uh, for, for this stuff. Uh, it's, it's a great start. All right. So off to a good start. We're off gangbusters here as we've reached cruising altitude with this Rocky Patel DBS. All right. Thanks for watching Cigar Snob on YouTube. If you enjoyed that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out more of our content, go to the channel and you'll see mail time videos, podcasts, interviews with Cigar Insiders, and photo shoots with smoking hot models. And if you want even more Cigar Snob in your life, we will print a magazine and ship it straight to your house. It's a crazy idea, I know, but we're trying this out. Cigarsnob.com to do that. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you later.